going on guys I'm actually recording this after the workout but I'm gonna put it before the clips I uh, woke up this morning at like 7 the earliest I've woken up this summer to go to the gym well I actually woke up 6 30 went to the gym for 7 but um met up with my friend Ebony did some legs and abs today so uh, that's what we're about to get into enjoy the show so yeah, today was legs, and I uh, wasn't quite sure what to expect since it was a morning workout. I'm not really as flexible in the morning. Usually I foam roll and stretch a few hours before the workout, usually right when I wake up. But uh, yeah, here you see Ebony starting it off with 95 on the squats. Uh, she goes pretty deep, actually, and doesn't typically do bar squats anymore. So pretty honored by that, and uh, working out with her it was awesome, fun time. It's a lot different than uh, my usual lone wolf lifting. So here I am starting it off with a plate for front squats. For me it's a lot easier just to keep my back straight and stay balanced so that's why I do front squat as opposed to back squat and really it's for safety too just because if it's too heavy and with my knee I can just lean forward and dump the bar where back squats I might not be able to leap out from under the bars fast. So uh, I would have thrown in a side view but the wall is too close on the left and the barbell rack right there was in the way on the right. But I promise you, my back straight, and I'm um, hitting below parallel, so that's good. My heaviest set for today was actually coming up next, and it's uh, 165 pounds. Felt really good, and definitely going to bump it up for the next leg day. The last two reps were kind of a grinder for me, but it looks faster than it felt now that I'm looking at the video. Um, I'm really focusing on driving through more with my weaker side, so that's why I'm pausing at the bottom and really just trying to put all my efforts into that. Um, not really focusing as much on strength with my legs as opposed to getting in the volume and trying to even out the size of my legs. So for squats, we just did uh, four sets of ten. Once I'm able to hit two plates, I'm actually going to increase the volume and mix and mix up the strength and the hypertrophy training. I would put in another clip of Ebony, but um, I actually got a corrupted data, but she kept it at 95 pounds for the rest of the sets. Ah, uh, Z-back squat, my most hated enemy. About time I slay this fool and claim my gains. Not fully high bar, not fully low bar, but uh, finally able to keep balance with a straight back and my shoulders tight. So that's progress right there. Um, hopefully I'll be able to uh, increase the weight slowly with this and try and get it up on par with my front squat. Um, depth is limited a lot with this exercise due to my right side at the moment. But uh, I'm just going to keep grinding away at it and uh, work on that stretching. So... Maybe in a few weeks, a month, uh, let's try a new PR on the back squat, so there's that. Now this is actually the first time we've used a hack squat machine, but I uh, definitely recommend this over the traditional angled leg press. Obviously it's still a lock range of motion, but it keeps um, your upper body in with exercise because you still have to maintain your spine, um, keeping that straight. Also, it's a lot easier for me to work on opening up my knees and allowing my hips to sinking as opposed to the uh, leg press. And ladies, 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 you can't be afraid to lift heavy and hit some free weights. You won't look like a man. You're going to get a booty. Example number one, right in your face, right there, boom, right there. Okay, next, carrying up. Gentlemen, you need to give your lady something to grab onto as well. I'm telling you, girls, check out your ass. I'm not bullshitting you. This is my bad side, and I still got a circle down there, okay? No bullshitting. Come on, get your squats. Don't be a bro. Don't be some chopstick legs. Let's go, pump. So, yeah, definitely going to bump this weight up for our next leg day. Got two plates on a quarter on each side, going pretty smoothly, pretty quickly. No problems here. I'm um, just going to keep using this to... Uh, increase my depth and let's see what we got next oh actually we did hamstring curls next but those got deleted because my camera was being a spaz on me so here we have uh, walking lunges instead Ebony worked it with uh, 50 pounds I actually only did body weight reason being if anyone actually bumped into me while my right leg was extended back I would have toppled over no problem so hopefully if I gain stability with this exercise it's gonna transfer over into my squats and other exercise but uh, yeah I'm gonna keep it real with you on this clip too. pay attention to the difference between my right and my left calves and that's a glimpse of how much my leg has atrophied from all the surgeries I've had my quads would be the same way if I showed you and uh, surprisingly few people notice because a who the hell is creeping that hard on calves you're looking at my ass obviously but um yeah for isolation exercises like this I usually try and do one side at a time if possible just because I'm, I want to work my weaker side 
So that's really a big deal with me for that. On my splits, I do all my compound movements first, obviously. Um, doing the assistance work and the isolation exercises after. Um, with those isolation exercises anyway, I try and do like 12 to 15 reps because I'm not trying to stack on that much weight, just really trying to get a good contraction out of it and feel the muscle, especially on the right side. I know I've mentioned that so many times now, but um, that's been a recurring issue with me. After we did abs and um, a lot of footage, I'm actually just going to take out just because it's kind of boring and my camera did not focus properly for some reason. We did do yoga ball jack knives. Um, this is the exercise where you kind of grab your partner's ankles, lift your legs up and they throw them back down and you kind of do that till you burn out. But um, I definitely recommend hanging from pull-up bars, uh, doing some wheel and cheetah wipers and hanging leg raises. If you're not able to do those exercises, I would definitely recommend um, weighted twists or weighted decline twists and jackknives. I think those transfer over pretty well. Just do a lot of volume with those. Keep your core tight while keeping your back straight because if you can't do both of those while hanging from the pull-up bar, it's all going to fall apart on you. Then uh, next is an exercise I opted out of just because I am a lot heavier than her and probably would have snapped her in half. But uh, so here's her 15 minutes of fame or 15 seconds, whatever this clip lasts. going on guys so that was the video I think I'd wrap it up with a little bit more about myself and address some things I know you're gonna be thinking after watching that like this dude squats some baby weight what the hell he's probably got no legs well um that 165 set was actually the most I've done since my surgery um, it's progress for me because I've had five surgeries on my leg uh, the story is second grade broke my leg Wheels came off the scooter, knee went flying to the curb, crawled back home. Fourth grade, I had cartilage erosion and removal, so a lot of my lateral meniscus is gone. My ACL was torn when I broke my leg, so I had that replaced in sophomore year of high school. But that ended up failing because of the joint, the knee joint angle between my tibia and my femur is messed up. So um, December, I had that done. Um, open wedge, various extension, tibial osteotomy, something like that, something crazy. But pretty much they take a chunk out of the side that they need to open up and they put plates and screws to hold it in place while the bone grows back. So actually about a month and a half ago, I had a day surgery to get the plates and stuff removed because they were super infected with uh, Staph aureus. But um, that's besides the point. I'm getting back into it. I'm really happy about what I'm doing so far because I've rebuilt my squat form. This is the cleanest it's ever been. Maybe not today, but it's the most comfortable it's ever felt for me, to be honest. Um, for me, it's just finally getting back into it. Front squat, I used to be able to do like high 200s, a sloppy three plates. But uh, as far as rehab or any of that goes, I've done it all myself just with my surgeon clearing me of like when to progress because uh, I wasn't in a position to get physical therapy when I was at school just because I didn't have a car and health insurance issues and stuff like that. So really, it has been hashtag no days off for real. You can follow me on Instagram, Kenny Flattop, no spaces, underscores, those three words put together. But um, back to the point, um, my next surgery for my ACL, the second um, replacement is going to be in December. So I'm trying to get as strong as possible before that happens and that last set was a little bit of a grinder towards the end but I think I can hit two plates easy by the end of the summer I'll be I might even surpass where I was at really because the hack squats with um 285 was cake like I could definitely do three plates on that maybe three and a quarter we'll see uh, maybe I'll try that out next week but yeah that's a little bit about me um I don't really know what else to say as for future videos, expect more workout vlogs, maybe some freestyling because back at UConn, I participated in Cypher Club a lot. So, you know, I got to kick some instrumentals for you guys and just spit some bars. Only Asian guy to do it since gin, really. So, uh, see what's going on. Comment, like, subscribe, share my shit. Catch me later. 
I'll catch you later. Fuck. Bye. Bye. The mic's on you. Kenny Ha. Oh, Kenny Ha. Kenny Ha. Kenny Ha. Yo, check it. When I come through, I'm coming to kill. You think you got me, but homeboy, you just not ill. I said come through. Wild and homeboy, I'm freestyling. Come on, boy, no Eminem, but yeah, I'm eight milin'. Jim back in 106 and pop. I'm coming through like a shark in the dark water. Come on, man. It's a slaughter every time I come up and step. Cause I rep for my country. Damn right, yeah. That's Vietnam. I said, boy, drop the bomb right on the front door. I'm kicking down it right now, yo, boy. I'm ready for war. Come on, man. It's an earthquake. Cause every time I step up, I shake the room. Yo, click, clack, boom. You know, fans, you don't got it. Come on, man. I'm bad it. I go and spit it right out the top of my dome. Yo, it's absurd. You little turds would even step up to me. Come on, man. You think you even go to test for me? I'm a G. Oh, boy, that's right. I got it. I got it hanging on my neck and up on my wrist. So you know what you kiss if you don't. It's like feeling this, it's like, yo, back in the cypher, my homeboy from your hyper, I'm the illest coming up to be bigger, staying in a room full of what? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm not playing, I'm coming through saying, come on, man, what I'm saying, I said, might be similar, but come on, man, this shit you never heard, it's absurd, oh, man, I'm recycling lyrics, I go, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back.